Next case is the force calculation between arbitrary post cylindrical permanent magnets. Generally, to solve this problem you should run three-dimensional magnetic simulation. But in some cases this test could be simplified. Some kind of magnets, practically niodium therm pore magnets, features magnetic permeability very close to the permeability of the air. And this allows to use superposition principle. First, we calculate the magnetic field produced by the first magnet. Then we calculate the magnetic field produced by the second magnet. And then we can find the vector sum of both fields. And this approach is implemented in our free tool. Let's take a look at the practical example. There are two coaxial permanent magnet cylinders. The cylinders are magnetized along the axis of rotation. And in this case we can simulate in quick field using axisymmetric formulation. So I will start quick field. Here is the magnetostatic problem and the model class is axisymmetric. In axisymmetric model you should draw only the upper half of the cross section. So I have two magnets here. Magnet 1 and magnet 2. And for each magnet I specify the permeability and the coercive force. Now let's take a look at the simulation result. This is the magnetic field produced by two cylinders. And our task is to calculate the magnetic force acting on each cylinder. To calculate the force I build the contour around the cylinder. and follow to the integral list. This is the mechanical force acting on the left cylinder. Packed to calculate the force quick field integrates the values along the contour, not across, but along the contour. Here is the equation that is used to calculate the magnetic force in quick field. Now let's use our free tool on this simple case. What should we do here? We should specify the permanent magnet cylinder's dimensions. and position in space. So we specify the coordinates of the points at the bottom and the point at the top of the cylinder. Also we specify the coercive force and the magnetic permeability of the material. And we should specify the coordinates of the integration contour The integration contour here is depicted with the orange lines. Here the coordinates of this integration contour are specified. Now I press the calculate button. 
at first quick build is invoked to build the geometry model of the first cylinder and calculate the magnetic field distribution produced by the cylinder along this contour. Then our tool invokes quick field to build the second cylinder and calculate the field distribution produced by the second cylinder along this integration contour. So each cylinder is simulated and each magnetic field is calculated. The total magnetic field is calculated as a vector sum of the magnetic fields produced by each cylinder. Then, the Maxwell tensor integral is calculated along the integration surface. That gives us the magnetic force acting on the volume surrounded by the integration contour. So, here is the result. Force acting between two cleaner permanent magnet cylinders. Let's compare this value with the value calculated by Quickfield. Here I have two cylinders simulated together and can calculate the force. I build the integration contour and quick field then integrates the field phase distribution along the contour. So we have verified the results calculated by our free tool and you can use it to calculate the force acting between a number of arbitrarily placed permanent magnet cylinders. On our website you can find several examples of calculating force between parent magnet cylinders.